In today's video, we are going to take a closer look at ConvertKit and Beehive. So I'll compare those platforms based on different criteria, specifically as a content creator. You might be surprised at the conclusion I'll draw at the end, so be sure to stick around. But before getting started, hi, my name is Matt Jarrell, and this channel is for content creators who want to turn their ideas into an income. So if that sounds like you, hit the subscribe button now. Number one, overall aesthetics. So an important part of my business is to actually enjoy the tools that I'm using. One of the things that I really hate are those clunky tools that bury the functions that you need to use all the time behind 500 different stupid clicks. While both interfaces look very clean, I slightly lean towards Beehive because the editor is easy to use and most importantly, because you have the start writing button at the top right, which is a feature that you'll use nine times out of 10 when you want to send an email. However, I feel that ConvertKit is better when it comes to scheduling autoresponders because you can add a new email in the sequence with one click. There are obviously advantages and drawbacks to both interfaces, but overall, they are quite similar and clean. We should be good for 99% of people watching this video. Deliverability. The goal of sending emails is that your audience get them and obviously read them. The worst thing that could happen right here is to get your emails not delivered or trapped in the spam folder. So on both ConvertKit and Beehive, you can use either the platform's domain or your own custom domain. So I won't go into the advantages and the drawbacks of both options, but in the tests I've made, I noticed no specific difference between deliverability with emails sent from Beehive and from ConvertKit. So again, there isn't really a clear winner on this side. Integrations. If you're running an online business, chances are you're using more than one tool. So you'll probably host your courses on platforms like Gumroad, Podia, or Teachable. You have your own website, yada, yada, yada. And email is probably the center of your marketing universe. So this is why you want to keep your email list updated with all the external events that happen outside your autoresponder. So let me explain. Let's assume you're launching a product using emails like I'm teaching you in my free course below. Once your customer buys, you certainly want to update and tag him as client of product X and stop sending him your launch emails because he already purchased. Instead, you want to send him emails on how to get the most out of the course he just purchased. In that case, you need your course hosting platform to communicate with your email marketing software. ConvertKit is like the octopus of integrations. It connects with nearly every tool out there, Zapier included. Beehive is still new and doesn't have as much native integrations as ConvertKit. So it doesn't natively link with online course tools like Podia or Teachable. However, Beehive has a Zapier integration and a working API. It also recently released webhooks, which allow you to do a lot of things if you're willing to spend a bit of time setting this up and get your hands a bit dirty. In terms of integrations, ConvertKit is way easier for a beginner than Beehive. Monetizing your list. The best way to monetize your list is by selling your own products. This is exactly what I've been doing since 2014, and I'm showing you how to do this exactly in my free course below. However, there are other ways that you can monetize your subscribers. One of the ways is paid newsletters, which means that some of your subscribers can upgrade and pay you a monthly fee to get exclusive content. This is exactly what you see a lot of people do on tools like Substack. So both ConvertKit and Beehive allow you to set this up seamlessly. ConvertKit also allows you to go the extra mile by also giving you the opportunity to sell digital downloads, coaching, subscription, event sales, sponsorships, etc. I personally use a separate platform to handle that, but again, this all depends on how you want to structure your business. If you're just getting started and want a simple solution, then ConvertKit might be a better option for you. Opt-in forms. If you have a website and want to get people on your list, you need an opt-in form. Both ConvertKit and Beehive have that option. While ConvertKit allows you to go heavy into personalizations, Beehive keeps things plain and simple. So once you've actually created your form, you simply head over to view, and then you're going to see different options that you can use to embed this on your website. Whereas ConvertKit gives you more options on how to design your form, it also allows you to set up different automations based on what happens after the opt-in. Landing pages. 
So a landing page is basically a simple page where people can sign up for your email list without you having to actually create a website. While I recommend that every creator should have a website, at the beginning, when you're just getting started, you may not just have the time to do it. So this is why setting up a landing page within your autoresponder can be a huge time saver and allow you to build your list from day zero. And while ConvertKit offers you more customization options, as for the opt-ins, Beehive's landing pages look good out of the box. If you're really heavy into customization, then again, ConvertKit is the one that you want to choose. Pricing. One of the things that I deeply hate about autoresponders is that 99% of them are just overpriced. Let's take a closer look at how ConvertKit and Beehive perform here. Both autoresponders offer a free plan. So ConvertKit allows you to gather up to 1,000 subscribers for free. I've created a separate video where I review ConvertKit's free plan in detail, so feel free to check it out if you want more details on that. Beehive's free plan allows you to build your list for free up to 2,500 subscribers. Not only that, where I think Beehive is actually kicking butt out of ConvertKit's free plan, is that Beehive also give you access to the free recommendation feature, which means that you can get recommended and also recommend other creators who use Beehive to grow your list. Whereas if you want to get the recommendation feature on ConvertKit, which they call the creator network, you can only get that with the mid-tier plan, which starts at $15 per month. So both free plans won't allow you to create automated welcome sequences, which is mandatory in my biased but accurate opinion. And if you just want to get started for free, then Beehive is obviously the better and cheaper option. Then when it comes to upgrading, I only think that the Beehive $99 per month plan actually makes sense because the mid tier plan doesn't offer you automation. The reason why you're using an autoresponder is the to send out automated emails. Once you actually reach 3,000 subscribers, Beehive will be the cheaper option here because it's a flat pricing until 100,000 subscribers, at which point ConvertKit will charge you a whopping $897 per month, which is almost nine times higher. So when it comes to pricing, Beehive is definitely cheaper. So which platform is better? So as you see, both ConvertKit and Beehive are quite similar. So you should make your choice based on three concerns. Number one, pricing. Beehive is cheaper if you have more than 3,000 subscribers and the Beehive free plan also offers more features than ConvertKit. Number two, integrations and automations. If integrations and automations are important for you, then ConvertKit is the better and the easier option. Number three, customization. So if you want to customize a lot of your opt-in forms and your landing pages, then you certainly want to go for ConvertKit because it just offers more options than Beehive. So now you know exactly which one of both platforms you should use. And if you want to go ahead with one of those platforms, I've included a link in the description. So feel free to check it out. And while we're here talking about email marketing, I'm pretty sure that YouTube has a great recommendation for you right now to continue binge watching other videos on my channel.